Okay, so I'm very happy and very honored to present, you know, uh, my lifetime work, my lifetime work on craniovertebral junction, and I hope you will enjoy this. So I will, you know, craniovertebral junction is very important for neurosurgeons and for spine surgeons and those who want to do complex spine because it is highly result oriented kind of complex cases you can give new life you can absolutely give new life you can give new neck and you can give new hands you can give new legs and you can give breathing you can give you can make them work you can give them new life on the other hand if you do not understand craniovertebral junction and you try to operate these cases you can kill them you can make them worse and you can devastate them. So it is important for us to understand craniovertebral junction. It is not easy. It is a complex subject. It is like this is the pillar and the pillar bifurcates like this. So to hold the roof, <clears throat> this is bifurcation of the pillar. Similarly, this bifurcation of the human two joints, one is atlanto-axial joint and one is occipito-atlantal joint. Occipito-atlantal joint is the most stable joint of the body. Atlanto-axial joint is the most mobile joint of the body. Most mobile. Atlanto-axial joint is the most mobile joint and the most unstable joint of the whole spine. So atlantoaxial instability is very common. If I have to say that atlantoaxial instability is the most under-recognized clinical entity, under-recognized clinical entity in our subject and under-treated. So let me discuss about atlantoaxial instability. So this is the magnificent atlantoaxial joint. You see here, this is the facet of atlas. It is very strong. It is very thick and strong. Next to teeth, this is the strongest bone of the whole spine, C1 facet. See the number of ligaments at 